Great. So welcome to uh, 2023 Linux Storage File System Memory Management, BPF, basically the entire kernel at this point. Uh, <laughs> yeah, three minutes. I'm very sorry. Um, first off, I'd like to thank uh, the wonderful program committee. You guys can stand up. We got Martin and Javier for storage. Daniel and Martin, uh, there you are, Martin, for BPF. Me and Amir for file system, but really just Amir because I'm lazy. Uh, McCall and Dan, where's Dan? Dan? Dan Williams is around here somewhere. Uh, so big shout out to these guys. They did a fantastic job organizing the schedule and everything and keeping this whole thing running smoothly. Uh, we'd also... <laughs> Also, like to thank our sponsors: uh, Diamond, uh, Meta, Platinum, Samsung, Gold, IBM, NetApp, Nvidia, Seagate, Silver, EBBF Foundation, and Intel. Uh, without their funding, we wouldn't have such a nice place to be. So, thank you to our sponsors. Um, just like last year, we are hybrid, virtual, in person. So clearly there's a lot more of us in person this year, but there is still a significant number of people that are virtual as well. Uh, this is going over Zoom and the other breakout sessions, the, the camera for the, for the guys on Zoom, um, the camera will pan to the, to the audience so you can see who's talking. Uh, this is always important, but especially important in these cases, if you're going to speak, microphones, and we'll pass these out and we'll chase you down. If you want to speak, just raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you before you start talking. Um, I feel like there was something else and I should have written it down. If you're virtual and want to speak, uh, raise your hand. The people in the back are keeping track of the Zoom stuff and that'll let you know. Um, for me, I also will log into the Zoom thing when I'm in a room, and so I'll keep track of questions and stuff, because sometimes people just want to ask a question, don't really want to like be put up on screen or whatever. Uh, I kind of leave it up to you guys and the tracks, but there are Zoom links on the schedule so everybody can log in. Um, that's what I plan to do. Does that sound good? Um, I try to get a list of virtual attendees. I just have a list of all of the attendees, so if you you guys are missing like key contributors that you think might be virtual, either reach out to them directly or like log into the Zoom and check and see where they're at. Um, perfect, so that's Zoom. Uh, you, uh, the schedule is on the, th on the um, if you get a Linux Foundation, you get the schedule, you can go to the Google Docs and you can see it there. Uh, we will be updating this, I know I have to add the S-Frames thing and I think it's on the schedule or anything. We're good? Excellent. Perfect, all right. Um, we will have room for boffs. We'll get a thing up here to suggest for boffs, or not boffs, uh, lightning talks, thank you, sorry. I'm very tired. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, have any issues, feel free to hit any one of us that are on the program committee. It's been a pleasure doing this and You'll notice there's a lot more people here. That's another thing. Um, we increased the attendance to 150 people this year. Um, the goal here is to allow for more junior people. It's, you know, I'm honestly getting tired of seeing the same faces all the time. So it's kind of nice to <laughs> see the new people and like make sure to get them included. Like obviously those of us who've been here a while are going to talk a lot. But you know, if you're new here, feel free to jump in. And if you want to just watch, that's also cool too. So this is kind of like trying to help grow the community and, and kind of like add more support for everybody. Um, as usual, I'm way ahead of schedule. Uh, we're gonna talk about like the last years of development, like the last year worth of development and stuff. We're gonna just have um, the track leaders kind of come up and do their spiel about what's happened. Um, I don't know what's happened because I don't pay attention. Who wants to go first? Y'all, storage, you wanna go first? You know, Martin? Well, I don't pay attention either. Um, so absolutely nothing has happened the last year in storage. Uh, and I can say that conclusively because I had to look at the diffs yes, uh, this morning when Joseph said, can you say what's happened? Um, so we haven't had any major, major developments or new technologies 
added. It's been like a slow and steady refinement and incremental uh, uh, amount of work, um, but I don't have any big flashy exciting things that we did this awesome thing. Um, but Really, the storage stack is awesome. It's, we've just been polishing and polishing. Perfect. I know BPF has done a bunch. Oh, Amir, you want to come and talk about file systems? Yeah. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, better you than me. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, so nothing new is file system either. Uh, I don't think that we have any new file systems. I. Um, I was looking at the last year's uh, schedule uh, to see uh, if anything comes out of these gathering. And you know we have uh, several uh, types of talks in, in these uh, meetings. We have the occasional new thing someone is trying to propose, and we have the re reoccurring topics that we bring up every year, uh, hopefully with some progress. So. I specifically uh, looked at the things that were occurring and maybe some stuff that was new last year and really evolved. So uh, I hope I didn't miss much, but we have, uh, we usually have a discussion about uh, file system and stable trees and we're gonna have one. We have had one of those for the past four at least meetings and we have one uh, this time. And there was progress, but we're going to show the progress uh, in the meetup. Uh, also, a general talk about uh, maintaining file systems and subsystems. Uh, Joseph Tech gave this talk last year, but uh, um, we don't have a specific talk about this uh, this year. But uh, we do have a new VFS co-maintainer, so that's uh, that's a progress. Uh, Christian Barnell, if if you don't all know. Um, what else? Um, there was a talk about ID map mounts, and there was certainly progress uh, in this area over a year. Uh, there was uh, the traditional talk about FS info, and there was one this year, and nothing happened on that front yet. This year it will happen. And uh, there was a talk, and there's going to be a talk about, about FS tests and BLK tests and KDevOps. Where is Luis? I don't see him. Hey, Luis. Uh, there has been progress. There was, KDevOps is a growing community now. And uh, you will hear about that. Um, there was some talk about uh, extending statics and FSID for better FS. I mean, things have happened, but I don't know um, how, how much. Not much. Um, uh, that's it for, oh, there was a, a NetFS, uh, there was a talk about NetFS, and I don't know if we talked about IOMAP conversions, but certainly things happened with IOMAP conversion this year. Uh, EXT4 got a bit more support, I hear the EXT2 is queued up for uh, IOMAP conversion, but for me the most important thing that happened is that uh, XFS, which is the spearhead of uh, IOMAP uh, um, has detected some uh, uh, design issues actually that were tackled with stale mapping and such and that was important because it's important that we have XFS doing this work for the rest of us. Uh, so thank you about that, uh, XFS users. And that's it, what else? So what we have, uh, uh, yeah. There was a talk about uh, file system notification for remote file systems, but that didn't make any progress. Uh, there's going to be one talk about file system notification this year, but something else. Uh, what are we going to have this year? Apart from assorted topics, I'm not going to list them all. Uh, we have a sort of a Fuse mini conference because a lot of exciting things uh, happened in Fuse recently, or. A new development, so we have a, a few uh, Fuse developers here, and uh, this afternoon we're going to have a sort of a Fuse mini conference. That's going to be interesting. Uh, we have a VFS mini conference, I think, Wednesday, with the new uh, VFS co-maintainer. Uh, 
Tuesday. Thank you. And I'm just going to look at the schedule. And I missed something. Um, yeah, we have, a, we have a, a new interest coming up with uh, image, how do you call it? Images, file system images. A lot is going on with distributions that are uh, distributing file system images and new technologies like ComposerFest that is going to be discussed this year. So um, new stuff is happening there. Next up. Yeah, so uh, quite a lot has been going on in the memory management land, and I will not list all of that because I would certainly forget about something. But first of all, one and a big change from the last year is a new memory management process where Andrew has started using Git workflow, and it seemed to be working pretty well, I, at least from what I've heard. So this is a nice success story after the last year. Uh, apart from that, uh, uh, multi-generation LRU has lifted off, and that's also a result of the last year discussion, which is also really great. And yeah, folios are still moving forward. I think that uh, Matthew is seeing more contributors to that work, which is also nice. And um, MMOP SAM scalability has moved forward some not yet there, but uh, uh, RCU um, hot path is almost implemented. It's just uh, waiting to be finalized to to the measurable state. But Suren is doing a really great job in approaching that goal. So, yeah, I think that um, since the last year, nice success stories and uh, and yeah, it seems like we almost. Um, uh, have to refuse some of the proposals this year, but uh, in the end we've managed to fill up the schedule without rejecting anybody, and there is still one slot, so if uh, there is something popping up uh, from discussions, then feel free to reach out to me, and we will be more than happy to put something on the agenda, and I can see Andrew lifting his hand, so. Yeah, and, and another really major change is the maple tree being merged, so yeah. Yeah, so uh, anybody from the BPF land want to? All right, so nothing happened in BPF either <laughs> since last year. <laughs> um, no, so like a lot of the, of the development um, is driven by um, New use cases in the kernel, for example, we see uh, more evolving around the security angle uh, by supporting uh, LSMs. Um, also tracing and uh, scheduling is a big topic, which also helps to improve the core infrastructure of BPF itself, of the verifier, to make it more easy to use for, for people to consume. Um, I'm sure I'm, I will forget a lot of things, but uh, one thing that makes me very happy as a co-maintainer is also that we have a wonderful BPFCI, uh, which is evolving also into different architectures, tons of more tests, uh, which helps to stabilize the infrastructure around BPF in the kernel. Um, a lot of the um, improvements are also around KFUNCs to be able to um, to make it easier for users, for example, around file systems or in, in other areas like the, the HID improvements to be able to consume it um, in their own and, and, and to, de to be able to um, develop it uh, in their own subsystems further um, to be more independent of BPF itself, to evolve it, to evolve it more independently. Um, yeah, so... Um, I think. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Uh, Jens is not here, so he doesn't get to speak. Uh, there's been a lot of IOU ring stuff. I know uh, he keeps talking about it. Um, I pretend to listen. Um, do we have anybody who can speak? Oh, I mean, I know we do. Pavel, are you around? 
All right, fine, don't volunteer. Anyway, lots of work in the IOU ring too. It's gonna to be on the list. So lots of cool stuff going on, especially the, I don't know, I'm really excited about the Fuse stuff too. All right, still way ahead of schedule. I'm doing great. Um, why did I think this was gonna take 45 minutes? Absolutely. Turn it on. It's not on. Yeah, there's a there's a click on the bottom. Here, you take this one. I'll do this. Thank you. Um, so the question I keep getting a lot that I don't have a f uh, an answer to is for the BPF people. So Alexi being here, I will move next to you so you can answer it. I have a load of people basically from academia whose question is: um, Now that we have Rust in the kernel, why do we need BPF? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's an answer, but I haven't been able to successfully articulate it. I need help. Um, how about you will listen to my presentation in uh, half an hour, and I think it will answer it. There you go. Well, that's very Perfect. Okay, uh, so I, th I guess we're just going to roll right into the next thing.